The man never thought that one day he would be swallowed by the foam. Just moments ago the man went to help his sister renovate the house. Even borrowing a spray foam truck, he connected the pipes, started the control panel, and opened the valve. Smoothly operating the equipment, the man systematically sprayed foam, unaware that the pipe had folded into a dead end. At this moment the spray gun suddenly stopped working. Thinking the pressure was insufficient the man took out the controller and kept pressurizing, oblivious to the fact that the panel had issued a warning. Unexpectedly an accident occurred. The man was tripped by the pipe and fell unconscious. While the massive amount of foam from the spray gun soon engulfed him entirely, when the firefighters arrived, the entire attic was filled with foam. Due to the excellent insulating properties of the foam, the detector couldn't locate the man. Firefighters could only continuously pound on the floor hoping to get a response from the man. Suddenly one firefighter pierced the roof narrowly avoiding the man's head. Fortunately they found his position and immediately brought in an iron frame to support the floor. They then chiseled the surrounding edges and dismantled the entire floor. The man had become one with the floor. With the combined effort of the firefighters they finally pulled the man out from the foam and quickly lifted him onto the ambulance.